how do I give voice to the wild part of who I am and at the same time continue to function in relation to other people. I need to constrain those wild parts of the psyche. The actual creative process for me is very primitive, visceral. It's just simply hands in clay, raw felt emotion expressed in a surface. It allows me to access a part of myself that I can't in my conscious life. To me it's about a representation of an original state, a natural state, a wild state. When I'm in remote wild spaces, inner clarity starts to emerge. And I've often wondered what it is that I access in that space. So there's that strong feeling of timelessness. figures are powerful, but there's an element of vulnerability and an element of internal struggle. Physical power symbolizes animal energy, emotional energy. If you stand back from the sculpture, it represents a human or animal form. But as you start to move into the surface, it becomes more and more abstracted. So the textures represent elements of the landscape. Some of the figures on this exhibition, one of them has a lion skull placed across his face. To me, the skull is a darker image. It certainly does represent death. If we're unable to integrate those wild, honest, true parts of our inner lives into a conscious life, then we will die psychologically.